Yeah. Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we are told to draw a cycloid for a rolling cycle 76 mm diameter, making the initial position of the tracing point at the top of the vertical center line of the circle. Now we say we want to draw a cycloid. Now, if you want to know what a cycloid is, you can click on the link at the top right corner of the screen here to tell you what a cycloid is, or we say a cycloid is a curve. And this curve is the locus of a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping along a fixed straight line. Now, first of all, let's draw our fixed straight line right so i will assume that from here to here is my fixed straight line you can see the line here right and i will pick a point on that fixed straight line right and i'll take my let me zoom it up and i'll take my c square moving on my t square and i'll draw a vertical line on that point right now if you look closely we were told that the diameter of that circle is 76 so meaning that to draw a circle you need a radius and the radius will now be what 38 so from 0 to this point here is what 38 right and I'll place it on the base on that point I'll mark the center right and I'll take it to that point of the center which will help me to draw my what my circle right so if i place it here then i'll tick in this so this is a circle that is what that is rolling right now we want to know the distance the length of this circle right so to know the distance at which this circle will travel or the length of the circle in one revolution what was the distance in one word revolution so that will be the length of the circumference of the circle and what is the length of the circle of the circle that is given as what two pi r right and the pi there is 22 over 7 so if i say 2 times 22 over 7 which is a pi multiplied by the radius which is what 38 right and that will give us 238.86 so it means that from this point here, right, to somewhere around here, you measure what? 238.86, approximately 239, right? So I'm going to take my rule. I'll measure 239 from here, right? So this is 0, right? From, from 1 to 11 is 100. From 1 to 21 is 200, is 210, 220, 230, and we're saying about what? 239. So this is 239 here, somewhere around here, right? So I'm going to take, extend my point to that point there, right? So whatever I'm doing, I'm not going to divide this circle into 12. Why am I dividing into 12? Because I'll divide my circle into 12. So this line, this linear line, I'll divide it into 12. So there are two ways you can divide your circle, right? You can either use this to get the horizontal point here, right? Just take it this way, right? And when I place my C square this way, on my t square let me bring it down so you see what i'm talking about on my t square if i move it to the center here i'll get this right if i turn it to face the other side that is the left hand side passing through the center i'm going to do this right and if i sit it down this way going to that point Passing to the center, I'll do it this way. 
and if I turn it this way, facing the right, passing through the center, I'll get this. This is one way at which you can divide your cycle, your circle, right? So another way you can divide a circle is just to take your compass, you place it at this point here like this, the radius, right? And when you place it at this point, you mark the top, you can see, and you mark the bottom, you can see, and you come here also, you do the same thing, you mark the top, and you mark the bottom, like this, and you place it here too, you mark left, like this and you mark right you all for that so that's the other way you can do that right so let's move forward now since i divided this circle into 12 it means i'll divide my line let me say from here is a point a right or i will say this is my beginning point zero here to this point here is what point 12 right so i want to divide 0 to 12 into equal parts so what i'll simply do here is that i am going to divide using my line division method now if you want to know more about line division method you can also click the link at the top right corner here right now if you look at this closely i will show you how to divide the line now you take your compa your set square or your rule and you draw a line at any given radius at any given angle right so i will assume that i am taking this and this right so when i do that let's see i'm having this so let me take it up a little bit So this is what we have so when i do this i will not take my compass at any given radius you can take a distance of maybe 10 or 5 so you just place it here any given radius i'll mark this will be one this will be two this will be three this will be four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, and what? And 12. So you mark 12 on that line. And you take your set squares. And you take this, any of them you like. And you join the last point, which is point 12, to the last division of line here, which is this. Right? You can see that. Then when you do it this way, you see what I'm doing now? You can now you can now let's place your set square right at this point here you can see that or if you don't want to use that you can use this any of them you place it this way right or you use this this way any of them you like and when i place it this direction joining the point 12 and the point the last point that you divided here you join both of them together this way now you now take your set square i can easily place it here but if i place it here it will obstruct my pencil from marking this line if i place it here it's going to block the rest of the division of the line but the best way i can place it is at this direction here you can see so maybe i've placed it this way then i'll hold this down and i'll start moving this so if i move this to the next point I'm going to have this right so if I move this to the next point let me to the next point I'm going to have this if I move this to the next point I'm going to have this so continue repeating the same process at every point right now what you notice it is running out here so I can easily remove it from here and 
then start the arrangement again so from this point to this point that was it then place my c square at this point so the aim of doing that is just to make the line parallel to each other so i'll start moving now this will not be going up since it is on the same line as this line here so i'll start moving it up so this will come here this will come here this will come to the next one this to the next one this to the next one to the next one to the next one so this is what we have here right now in doing that i've already divided this line into as many parts as i want to divide it so i will now take my c square right take from that point 12 i'll rule it upward this way you can see that and i'll come to the top of this here and i'll move it this way is that again so i'll start taking those points up so let me zoom it up a little bit so from here i place it on this line i'll have this to the next line i'll have this right then to the next line this to the next one 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 this 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 right so doing that so it means that this is zero we're going clockwise this will be zero automatically here is zero right or i can move this way this is zero this will be one it should be two, it should be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is for the circle. Now for the line division here, before I move, so this will be if I'm moving this way, this will be a uh, zero, right? So this will be zero. If I'm going horizontal, so this will be zero, two, this will be one. So be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. Right? So I'll move from this center here. I'll draw a line. So that is the center. So this will be my center zero. This will be my center one, center two, center three. Center four, center five, center six, center seven, center eight, center nine, center ten, center eleven, and center twelve. Right? So I'll move. Realize that five and seven on the same point. Four and eight on the same point. Then write down three and nine and this and this on the same point that is two and ten and this and this on the same point here so this is what we have here so we want to start now the question is telling us that um we are making the initial position of the tracing point at the top of the center at the top of the vertical center line it is the this is the center line and this is the top of the vertical center line. This is the bottom of the vertical center line. So we mean that we're starting our, our movement from here, right? 
So let's start now. If I pick my compass, right, I'll take the radius of the circle, the rolling circle, right? Then if I place it at zero, they are meeting at six. If I place it at C1 center one, I will draw my circle. Look at I'll draw the circle this way. From center one. So I'll draw the circle this way. Faint line. Now what do you notice? Once I draw the circle, you realize that my six circle, where my the 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 circle the circle six touches the line one is at this point. I see that the first circle touching the first line. Move to the next one again at center two. You do the same thing. If I draw now where my circle 2 that is where my circle 2 is touching the next line right that is the line the next line so that is this right i'll move again so i'm talking about i'll move again to 3 where my circle 3 is touching the next line what is the next line the last line is line 3, right? So I'll put it that will be at this point. So where line 3 touches circle 3. Then the next one is center 4. Where my third circle touches the next line. I was the next line this is the next line here. Right? I move again. Where I'll go for center 5 now. Where my circle 5 touches the next line, what is the next line? This is the next line here for circle 5. Then, where my circle 6 touches the next line, so say it will be touching the next line at this point here. This is the sixth line here, right? So, move again, we must complete one revolution. Or we'll call it one convolution. Okay, the next one is seven. Where my circle seven touches, so it will start going up again. It start rising. This is the last point, so it will move again to the next one. So this is the next one here. Circle seven touches here. They will go again for eight. Center eight. You will have another circle. So it's increasing where the 8 touches the next line. And these are these points here. Start moving here where 8 touches the next line. Then the next one, 9. It's increasing. Where the circle touches the next line is the next line we are going up now. Then 10 come in for 10. So where the circle touches the next line, this is the next line on 10. Then 11, center 11. So where the next circle touches the next line, which is this. That is the circle we draw now. Then 12. I see that. Where the next circle touches the next line that is 12. So, what do you notice? I am going in a clockwise manner, right? As the circle is going clockwise, the lines are coming down. So, the first circle touches the first line, 
right second circle touches the second line and so on so when it gets here it starts increasing again so i will now use my french curve i'm not going to join those points together so if i start from here i will join those points from here to here ah uh, so from here so from here i will join these points right so i can take from here to here then the next one i'll join this point from here to here then the next one Take these two, then the next one is coming from here. The next one to this, Join this. Two. Then back to this. So it's coming here. It's coming here. From here to the next point here. Can I see that? Just come in here until it get back to this point. So this is what we are having here. So, so this is what we are asked to do. So you start on the highest point. So you must complete one revolution. So you move from zero to twelve. This one revolution, or you call it one convolution. You move twice again and so on and so forth you can also click here to see when the cycloid moves in two convolution just click at the link at the top right corner here so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching